Here we have the Yeshu FT897. This is the radio that has the power output problem. On further looking, I did make a mistake. Here, I'll just zoom in. We have one resistor and two inductors. I've done a saw on the diagram. And if you look there, that one there is definitely burnt. Didn't see it at first, so I zoomed in. Let's bring it back to normal. Well, I was thinking, because I've looked at other radios, to have a removable header. So what I've done is, I unscrew it. Just bring it forward slightly. And it will bring the, bring the light around. As we can see, all the cables go through there. So the idea I've got is we have eight. We have eight here. That's from the that's from the microphone. You have one plug here with I think it is six. Hang on, I'm counting that right. Six is at seven. Let's just go double check. Got eight there from the mic. There we have six pins. And down there, let's just double check that one. Where are we hiding? You've got one here which has one, two, three, six, and seven. So I'm thinking I've got to find out exactly what all those do that size, because let's go where the battery switch plugs into and power switching so that must be power switching so we need all those we need all those and we need all those so my plan of action is remove this find some way to box this off so it's finding a box big enough and neat enough to put that in Then I need a cable with 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think I counted right, so I need a 22 pin header plug. The 22 pin header plug, the only thing I can think of is a 25 way printer plug. So there, yes, we've got definitely got eight there. That's from the mic. Is that eight? Two, four, six, eight. Definitely six there, and it was definitely just check there four. Five, six, and seven going down to the. So, what I'll do is I'll have a playback of my radio. But what I'm, what I'm thinking is um, I need to make it neat so when the header goes back on, it doesn't look, you know, sort of bring it out to about. Here. So I'm thinking a 25 pin header. That side I can just sink in. I'm thinking a plastic plate or an aluminium plate. Get a box somewhere on eBay that matches those diameters if it can. Or could I get a strip of aluminium? And bends it round. So if I bring a strip to about, what's that, inch and a half? Two inches? Yeah, inch and a half. And bend it all the way around and then put a plate on the other side with a 25 pin header. Mount a plate somewhere in here. Again, with a 25 pin header. And they can just push together. Um, problem that I've got is the front could come loose. So I need somewhere of mounting stronger. So what I'm thinking is 
could I put some strong magnets here and here and you know over this side so when I push it back on it actually holds in place or could I just butcher the thing and put some sort of clip you know just here you know, the sort of clips you get on a flight case I've got a flight case over here so what I'm thinking is I need something like that but much smaller because they would look absolutely ridiculous anyway back to the radio I did recheck all the measurements so if you look over the PCB we can actually see it is in perfect condition so you come back here where it's burnt I did double check all the components around here and all the components around here this is the first model that came out I don't think there was another one because I did look up the part number here and that issue is from the first one and the plate number or the badge number I'll just cover part of that up because it's my serial number if you look here it hasn't got the D it's pretty much the same radio the only difference is is the D has this clock reference fitted as standard well, there is other differences, of course, which is the the finals. Some call them the outputs, but they are the finals because they're right at the very end. So the first two there is for HF and six meters. It's the part number there and there, and it's the part number there. That is for two meters and seventy sums. They're okay. There's a little bit of crusty solder. That's been less so thinking. Has that been replaced at some time with its life? But I will clean all that off. So what I've done for the time being, so I can use it as a receiver, I've unplugged the jumper. Plug, where are we? I've unplugged the jumper there, which removes the voltage to these two MOSFETs so therefore I can operate the radio as receiver without causing any more damage to the radio or any more scorch marks because me, me fear was if I left it on in receive, just receive mode with this component getting hot it could damage the PCB pads around it and if you look there it looks like it's three pins but no it's not it's one single pin each side but it does make it look like it's three but anyway if we do look at the PCB you can see it is just one connection with three little solder points so what I'll do tomorrow is I'll borrow a heat gun I'll pop these off and if you look at the part number actually on the part sorry I do apologize it is upside down it's actually different to what's in or on the service manual look look there you can actually see it is Romeo Delta 07 Mike Victor Sierra Indigo do that again just double check that it's Romeo Delta 07 Mike Victor Sierra Indigo could be one but when I typed it in on eBay and Google I did type it in using the letter I and uh, I did find them in packs of five and packs of ten and all different prices so I'm thinking I'll go for a UK supplier per couple of pound more um, hope for the best I'll see what happens and um, when the parts arrive I'll do an updated video. If you look there, you can see the trimmers. They are for the bias and current. 
I don't remember off the top of my head the test points on this side. So I looked it up and come back because it is about 10 years since the last time I worked inside one of these radios. 10 years. When you say 10 years, it blinks like an eye. Catch us all later.